In this topic, we will learn about angles in opposite segments. Let us start off by drawing four points on the circumference of a circle. And we will join all these four points to form a quadrilateral. Since this quadrilateral is inside a circle, touching four points on the circumference, we will call it a cyclic quadrilateral. We will start off by measuring angle A here. And angle A is 114 degrees. Next, we will measure angle C here. And angle C is 66 degrees. Do you notice anything about these two angles? We shall go on to measure angle B, which will give us 95 degrees. And angle D to give us 85 degrees. Once again, do you notice anything about the opposite angles? Yes, angle BAD and angle BCD, they add up to be 180 degrees. Likewise, angle ABC and ADC add up to be 180 degrees as well. Given the cyclic quadrilateral here, Angle A plus angle C will be 180 degrees, while angle B plus angle D will also be 180 degrees. And we call this angle property angles in opposite segments. Do take note that this angle property only applies for angles that are opposite each other and not angles that are side by side. Now let us look at the quadrilateral PQRS. And we will measure angle P here which is 76 degrees. Next, we will measure angle R, and it is 72 degrees. Thus, angle P and angle R add up to be 180 degrees? No, they don't. The opposite angles only add up to 180 degrees if they are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, do take notes that for a cyclic quadrilateral, all four points must lie on the circumference of the circle. Let's look at an example. We are asked to find angle BAD. To do so, we shall join the points X and Y so that we form two quadrilaterals here, ABYX and DCYX. To find angle BAD, we will first need angle x, y, b. And to find angle x, y, b, we will first need angle x, y, c. Therefore, angle x, y, c is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees because of angles in opposite segments. S, x, d, c, y is a cyclic quadrilateral. And we will have 80 degrees. Angle x, y, b will be equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees because of angles on a straight line. And we will have 100 degrees. Finally, angle BAD is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees here because of angles in opposite segments. And we will have 80 degrees. Now, you cannot apply angles in opposite segments for A, B, C, D because ABCD is not a cyclic quadrilateral and hence you must divide the diagram into two cyclic quadrilaterals by joining X and Y before you can apply the angle property angles in opposite segments. In summary, if ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, then angle A plus angle C will be 180 degrees and angle B plus angle D is 180 degrees as well because of the angle property angles in opposite segments. And that's all for this topic.